Hi, this is Evan Schumacher from Instant Encore, and I'm here to give you a quick video tutorial on how to use Sandbox Mode. Sandbox Mode is a new feature that we have, and what it does is it allows you to make uh, changes and to test your Tessitura settings in your app without disrupting the user experience for people who are using your live app. Um, so as an example, if you have had your app out for a while but you haven't implemented multiple price types or promo codes and you wanted to try those out and test them before you actually released it to your, the users of your app, you can use Sandbox Mode to do all that testing. And then once you're done with your testing, you can apply those changes you've done in Sandbox Mode to your live app and uh, then everyone will have access to it. So it's a great way to test, make sure you've got the right configuration you want without um, messing up the experience for the users of your app currently. As an example, um, here I've got our Renewable Orchestra app up. Uh, this is a demo account we like to use for these types of demonstrations. Uh, as you can see here, if I'm going to go into one of the featured events and click Get Tickets, we don't have multiple price types or promo codes enabled. So you don't see the tap here to enter your promo code. And you notice we only have a single price available here. If I click on a, one level here, I only have the standard pricing. So what I want to do is test out having multiple price types and having multiple or, and allowing promo codes. So let me show you how you can do that with uh, sandbox mode and not uh, mess up here our live app. So if I go into the uh, Instant Encore control panel and here I'm on the mobile preview page and if you mouse over Tessitura and you click on it and then you want to go into your settings. So these are the standard settings you have that you normally use to uh, configure Tessitura in your app. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page you'll see we have this sandbox mode and that's where you're going to go to click it. Just to prove to you that currently our app right now you can see in our live settings here we are not uh, enabling multiple price types and we haven't enabled promo codes. So I'm going to go down into sandbox mode I'm going to enter the sandbox. So one of the things we've done here is we've made the color of the background a little bit different and we always have this message sandbox mode is on letting you know you're messing with your sandbox settings and not the live settings of your app. Um, you also have three options here at the top. Reset. This copies the settings from your live app into sandbox mode. Apply, which we'll use a little bit later, which copies your settings from the sandbox into your live app once you're happy with your changes. And uh, exit. Exit just means you can get out of sandbox mode, go back to your live settings, see what those are like, and then you can always come back into sandbox mode later and keep doing your testing. So first thing I want to do here is reset, which means I'm going to grab my live settings and make sure that's what the sandbox is on right now. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to enable multiple price types and I'm going to allow promo codes. Click update like always. So now my settings are set up to have multiple price types and promo codes, but I'm going to prove to you that that's just in the sandbox and it's not in the live app. So if I bring up our app again and if I refresh it, I'll go to the events click an event here, click get tickets, you'll see I still don't have promo codes enabled in my live app and I only have one price type allowed. So even though I've made that change to the sandbox settings, it's not adjusting uh, my live app. What we can do here though is we've made that setting in the sandbox. What's really what you want to do is be able to test that out and see how it looks. So you'll see if you scroll back up to the top of the settings page and you go into that preview area here, click view now, now you'll notice that when I'm in the preview, I've got sandbox mode here. I'm in sandbox mode. I can preview all the settings that I have uh, that I've made for the sandbox. So if I go into my events and I click get tickets, you'll see now I have this option to enter a promo code. And you'll see I also have multiple price types enabled here. So if I click on a section, you'll see I both have both the standard price and the seniors price. So this is done exactly what I want it to do. I can continue testing, you want to check it out, um, go do as much testing, make sure this looks as good as, you're, as you want. And then once you're done and you're happy with it, you can go back into the Tessitura settings and we're going to apply. And what apply means is that it's going to copy the settings from your sandbox to your live app. It asks you if you really want to do that, and I do. So now it's applied the settings to the live app. So if I scroll down here, in my live settings, I can tell that because the background's not the, that bluish purple color, and I don't say that I'm in sandbox mode. 
Now if I go down here, you see I've applied those settings. Now multiple price types is checked, and so is allowed promo codes. And if I go back to my live version of the app, and I refresh it, go into events, in events, click get tickets. Now you see in the live version of the app, I have the ability to enter a promo code, and I've got multiple price types. So if I click here, standard and seniors. So now I've applied those to the live one. I'm happy with it, and now my users are getting that. And they weren't, they didn't see any of the stuff when I was testing. You know, when I was testing, all those things were only going on in sandbox mode. One last thing I want to show you about sandbox mode is that when you're in it, so I'm going to go back and enter sandbox mode. When you're in it, when you go to the ticket sales or the air log areas, you're only going to be seeing the ticket sales uh, for sandbox mode made when you're in sandbox mode. And same thing with the air log. You're only going to see errors that were done when you were in sandbox mode. If I go back to my Tessitura settings and exit sandbox mode, then when I go to ticket sales, I now see the sales from my live app. So we don't mix up sales from your live app or your sandbox mode. Same thing with the errors. It makes it a little bit easier for you to do your debugging. That's it for this uh, tutorial on sandbox mode. We hope you enjoy it. And as always, if you have any questions, please let us know.